everybody, I'm Molly Stanbury and you're watching MacMost, the video podcast that shows you how to get the most from your Mac, iPod, Apple TV, and iPhone. So, you thought it might be clever to make a personal shopping appointment at the Apple Store on June 29th to get your iPhone before the rest of the crowd? Well, you're going to have to be even more clever than that because Apple has canceled all personal shopping appointments for that day. Bummer. With only days left until its release, the iPhone has already been updated. Apple announced that it now features an optical quality glass surface and its battery provides eight hours of talk time. Eight straight hours of talk time? Who talks on their phone for eight straight hours? Meet Dave. Dave is the MacMost client rep. Dave talks on the phone from the time he wakes up until the time he goes to bed. And every moment in between. And we do mean every moment. Dave has been known to go through five or six cell phones in a day. But with the new iPhone, Dave will be able to cut down to one cell phone charge a day. And when Dave isn't on the phone, well, he'll have an iPhone. Today we're going to show you how to change label names in Finder. Go to the Finder menu, select Preferences, and click on the Labels tab. Here you can rename the labels from their color name to a label of your choice. This week, Jay is going to show us how to change keyboard shortcut assignments. Hi, this is Jay from MacMost, and today I want to show you how to change your keyboard shortcut assignments. What we can do is we can go up here to the Apple menu, go ahead and select System Preferences, and then go ahead and select Keyboard and Mouse. And then over here you'll notice that there is a keyboard and shortcuts tab that we already have selected. Uh, if you wanted to say change the keyboard's uh, shortcut for taking a screenshot from Command Shift 3, all you have to do is highlight it and then go ahead and hit the keys that you want to change it to. In this case I'll change it to just plain Command 3. And then you can see that the shortcut has changed. Another thing you might want to change is say that like uh, for example dashboard and the F12 key interfered with an application you were using and you wanted to change that to something like command shift F12 we again just highlight it go ahead and hit the commands that you want to change the assignment to and the assignment is changed if you find that your keyboard uh, assignment isn't working and you want to restore all your keyboard assignments to their defaults, you can go ahead and hit this button and it restores them back to their original state. This has been Jay from MacMost and that's been how to change your keyboard shortcut assignments. If you have a question that you would like us to answer on air, email us at questions at macmost.com. Have you ever wanted to know the specific name of an actor in a film? You can use the Internet Movie Database to settle any bar bets. They feature comprehensive information about all things film and television. Go ahead and check them out at imdb.com. MacMost Loot is our contest segment where we come up with an Apple-related question or challenge and send a randomly drawn winner a prize. Last week we asked, what was the common name of the Apple PDA sold from 1993 through 1998? The answer is that Apple's venture into the PDA market was with a product that became known as the Apple Newton. Its actual name was the Message Pad, but it became known for the name of its operating system, Newton OS. This week's challenge is, during which Super Bowl did the famous 1984 Apple television commercial appear? For this one, give us the number of the Super Bowl and send your answers to loot at macmost.com. Thanks for watching the MacMost video podcast. If you want to contact us or would like to sponsor an episode of MacMost, you can email us at podcast at macmost.com. Be sure to visit our website for the latest news and to vote on the stories you think are the most interesting. We post tutorials and tips to our site throughout the week where you can subscribe to the show. You can also subscribe to us using iTunes, so tell your friends and don't be shy, leave us a review. This is Molly Stanberry for MacMost. See you next week. Eight hours of talk time with no side effects.